Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Um, we're going to start going over type tools and we're going to start having fun with some text in our next few tutorials. And um, today we're just going to go over using the standard type tools in the CS6. And there's a couple of new things that uh, I'm going to go over that are new to CS6, such as like language options and um, different like uh, kind of panels and stuff like that so just pay attention to all that stuff and I'll try to point those out when I can I'll point out the new things so you guys can see what's uh, uh, the difference is and uh, today marks a special day outside which um, some people might think it's good some people might think it, it's bad but it started snowing today and honestly um, I like a little snow before Christmas and everything but after that, the snow can go away, and I'd rather it be warm. I like having a white Christmas. But let's go ahead and get on to our uh, text tools. So um, obviously, you guys know that I'm making this around Christmas time, I guess. So let's go ahead. So we've got our text um, tools over here where this uh, T is. So we've got four of them. There's a horizontal type tool and the vertical type tool. And then we've got our mask tools that are um, the same as these, but they're just masks, and they just make selections. So go ahead and select um, your horizontal type tool, and you can see that the hotkey is T. And just click, and a little cursor will appear, just like any other like word processing document or anything like that. And you can just start typing. And pretty much that's how the text, uh, that's the basic way to do it, uh, typing out text. It's the easiest way and quickest. And that's what you'd be mo using most of the time. But there's other ways that you can do stuff. So let's go ahead and let's go to our other type tool. Let's go to our vertical type tool. And you can see that the vertical type tool here. Oops, I need to select my layer. It goes up and down like this. And that happened to be the perfect size that fits on the page, which is pretty cool. Now every time you create a start a, a new type a new type, you uh, create a new layer. So every time I click, it's gonna create a new layer for you, which is pretty handy. So we'll just uh, bring out uh, some text here. And let's start going over what's going on. So when you want to create type, there's three ways to create different types. You can click like I was just showing you, and then you can enter a line of text either horizontally or vertically like I was just showing. You can click and drag to enter a paragraph. Blah, 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 blah. So that's how you make a paragraph. And then I can switch to a different tool and it'll change out of my paragraph. And now I can move this entire paragraph around. And you can also um, click on a path. So if we make a path, let's just make a path. That's good enough. And if we check out our path, we got our work path there. And then I'll bring my type up, and if I click, and it changes to this uh, cursor here. Hello, my... Well, it'll type along the path. And if I can move this point here, we can, uh, we're can. we able to type along the path. And I'll show you ways to uh, fix it up so it'll type out better than that and everything like that. So here's the path. I can make another point there. Path to, so as you can see that, and then you can adjust your path and everything and all your points to actually right on the path. But I'm just showing you that you're able to do that now, so which is pretty cool. And I'll just delete these out because I don't want them. What do we got? Oh, there it is. Get that out of there. Get that out of there, and we'll take this out of there. All right. So let's go over some of the options that we've got here. If I click on my type tool and make sure my layer is selected and then click within there. Um, 
You can edit in between if you want. We've got our, our uh, text fonts up here. And you can see different samples on the right, which is helpful. Uh, if you select your font here, or your type here, and just start going through different uh, texts. If you click um, on, a, on a font, and then use your up and down keys on the keyboard when, it's, when everything is selected, it will switch through these really quick and you can get like previews of your different fonts. All right, and some fonts, you're able to change the type of font. Let me get a different font that's uh, more basic. There we go. So we got like our italics, our bolds, and then um, other variations. And we've got our font size here. You can use some of the pre or some of the uh, uh, fonts that are already there set for you, or you can type in a font, or you can use drag on the T's here to uh, move your font up and down, which is nice. We've got um, our different font like features here: sharp, crisp, and they'll just. Uh, like give your font a little bit of fine tuning and then we've got our paragraph options up here so this is a center paragraph so if I uh, start typing let me start typing out something new it's going to uh, type from the center and go out if I go from the left everything's gonna start typing from the left and if I come here from the right, it's going to start typing out from the right, like that. So keep that in mind when you're typing, and um, that'll help you keep things centered on your page so they don't go off like they were doing on mine. We've got our color here, which is uh, self-explanatory. Then we've got different uh, warp texts. So if I select this and I want to make warp it a little, we've got some different things going on. We can do an art. And then it'll do that for us. And then you can mess with it if you want, depending on the way you want to do it. And uh, that's uh, good for to go over for now. So that's uh, a little introduction into text. Let me check my notes to see if there's anything else I want to go over. All right, there's a couple other things. So if I click on my text here and then I move away from the text and click and drag, I can move the text around easily without having to go up to my um, tool, uh, the move tool up here. Um, if I double click, it'll select uh, the words. So it'll select like a group of words for you, which is uh, handy if you wanted to go fast. So if you want to uh, delete a key at a time, you can just hit the backspace key. Um, if you go in the middle here, you can hit the delete key on your keyboard to delete things in the middle. And if you want to delete everything, select everything and hit delete or backspace as well. And then once you click off, you can see that the layer name will change and you just have layer one or layer two or whatever the layer uh, number is. And uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was um, you can change the language on here. So if we go to this button up here, and click on it, It'll bring up our text options. You can also click on the character here. And then our, you can change your language here. And then you've got some other options here that we'll go over at some, another point. But that is the basics of text. And um, that's all uh, we're going to start out with today. So thanks for watching the uh, text basics tutorial and the standard typing tools. So let's uh, get into more advanced stuff in our next few tutorials. So see you guys there. Have a good one.